Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Supercar Tribe, where we are restoring an Aston Martin repeat. Uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos, then I strongly recommend you go back and watch those ones first, so you understand how we got to where we got to, because it's not looking really good at the moment. Um, we bought the car, found something wrong with the engine, we thought it was just going to be body repair, and it turns out that it was actually a lot more than that. So now we've taken the engine out of the car and we're actually stripping it down. And in today's episode, we're actually going to find a lot of damage. Um, so uh, we'll dive into that in a second. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already and you like this sort of thing, then do subscribe. We've got weekly videos coming out so you can uh, watch the progress on this car. Uh, and if you like the video, then don't forget to like, hit the like button as well. Anyhow, let's dive straight in and check it out. Coming off. Wow. Okay, so let's have a look, see what is underneath ah. this one. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, okay, so this is slightly different. We have a seized piston here. The others are just scored, but that one is seized. Whereas the other one was completely broken. So I would guess it's fuel starvation that was the issue. That was the cause of it. But if you look at this one, there is the piston right at the bottom of the engine, or broken up at the bottom of the engine. Okay, let's get the uh, let's get the engine itself opened up now, and then have a look at the bottom. Oh, the piston's no good. Pistons damaged. Bit of movement there, isn't it? Maybe the rings. Oh, no, the piston ring one side is damaged. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Give it a spin like you did before. All right, so whilst he is stripping the bottom of the engine, let's have a look at the, uh, so this is the, this is the top covers. Uh, forgive me for my terminology. I think they're called rocker covers, if I'm not mistaken, or cam covers. Um, so this is the front cover of the engine with the timing chain. This all looks to be in pretty okay condition, so no real issues there. These are all the tappets over here, and that's the cam, um, what are they called? Clamps? I'm not really too sure. Um, these generally I think were fine. I think one of them is a little bit hard to to turn. Um, so that needs to be looked at. Uh, these are the bolts that hold down uh, the top uh, part of the engine to the block at the bottom. Uh, gaskets will obviously be changed uh, but that's as they are right now. We inspected them but I suppose this is probably a little bit more interesting so that's not what it's supposed to look like um, this is the back end of the engine you see this side here and you look at that side there 
these two are the back of the engine and these are the ones that were seized um, we seem to have uh, some valves also which are bent which doesn't look good and they don't seem to be sitting down which is I guess the reason why we know that they're bent uh, this one is um, showing some concern as well um, that on that side and interestingly same on the other side sorry I'm probably not showing it here am I um, so that one there uh, you can see uh, but this one more so if you have a look at that so um, not not great a um, little bit more work to be done but still things that can be sorted out uh, and I don't know how much light we'll have back here but you can see so a bit of work to be done um, and we'll have to uh, we'll have to progress on that but we'll let's have a look at the bottom of the engine in a moment We've got bits flying out of the engine. Wow. Well, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. So, I have to say that's not unexpected. That is exactly what I expected to see. It's broken some of that baffle. Uh, amazingly, it's actually still in like a pretty big chunk over there. That's a piston ring there. There's another bit of the piston ring there. There'll be some in the bottom over there as well. No doubt. The question is, is what damage it's done to the camshaft. It's taking a bit of a hammering there. And there will be lots of metal underneath this as well. but it's done a bit of damage to the block just there so let's get this uh, this oil baffle off and then we'll be able to get a proper look and also once we've got this cover off here we can then see inside and see what's underneath but it'll all be little chunks of metal which have all made its way into the bottom okay so genuinely that is a lot worse than i thought it was going to be i was not expecting that block damage and not as bad as it seems so we probably need to examine this in a little bit of detail and then i don't even know if that can be saved so I'm a little bit surprised to be honest. So as you can see, that's it. Um, there's a lot of damage there. There's a lot of damage, but the worst is yet to come. Unfortunately, there's uh, in next week's episode, there's actually gonna be more damage that we're gonna find. And it's just, let's put it this way. Most people at this stage would have walked away. I decided to throw myself in further. So um, yeah. But if you like this sort of thing, if you like the videos, then definitely subscribe so you'll get the, uh, the future updates uh, and then you can track us as we rebuild this car and put it back on the road. But signing out for now and we'll see you next week.